Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. How are you? Let's see what's going on with you the rest of November. Today is the 15th. It's a nice and sunny day outside. So we'll go through, um, I was feeling like the vibe of the money and, and then the love stuff. You might also be okay in love. You might be dealing with a fire sign. Is what I'm getting? Okay, that that could be one thing there. Mm. Okay. So let's dive in. I'm going to go... Um, through your readings, and then we'll do the yes or no at the end. Yes, one yes or no question. And see how it all goes. Um, we'll start with the general energy, your general energy. Um, and I'm going to split this a little bit. Capricorn, what's your energy like for the rest of the month? Just give us a picture. Just a picture. I hear Roberta Flack. Where is the love? Hmm. Where is the love? Okay, let's pull a few on that. So what's going on with Capricorn and love? You might be waiting to communicate with somebody but full of something to say, okay? You've got a lot to say that you're holding back and not telling someone. And you're letting a lot of time pass. Why are you doing that? Karma. I'm gonna put that right there just so you know. Uh, what is the spanking? to this waiting and not speaking your feelings uh, to others, but with tact. Doesn't mean going off on anybody, but it does mean wasting time, holding back battles that are just bubbling up inside of you like shaking soda. I see shaking a soda can. So you might be like getting to this, like people are gonna be testing your energy. And then we get the karma. It, it's, it's, this isn't, it feels like wanting to say something to someone, but holding back out of fear of the fight that's going to come with it, the isolation that comes with it. being one of a few to speak up on a topic, if this is around work, and you might be seeing things that aren't fair. And you want to speak up, but feel like you're alone. Mm. And it's draining. It's draining. Advice on that one, you need to decide what you want. If this is around a workplace, you're not trapped there. That's the best advice I think should be given. You're not trapped. You have options. But there's a lot of waiting, waiting for the right time, waiting for the right opportunity. I get the energy that there is no such thing. Whatever this is, like you're holding back, speaking your mind. There is no right time. Um, for some of you Capricorns, this might be a feminine energy, so you're worried about how they're going to respond. But I can tell you if you're waiting to, if you're waiting for the right moment, 
um, to take action, to speak up, to speak your mind. Tell someone how you're feeling. You're losing valuable time. And this also is giving me the energy of somebody like wasting, like silence, silence. The silence, not speaking up, not speaking your mind, afraid of how people will respond or whether they reject you. It is a process in life you have to go through. So you are going to have to experience some rejection before you can get to the, you know, invitation in or to till you get the clarity or till you learn how to um, accept certain situations, how to deal with them. It just feels like biting one's tongue. But... And that's fine, right? You could do that, but it's like losing a lot of valuable time. Now, this can also, this is the damage from past relationships. So you might still be looking at that and still like, I don't know why I see someone treading water. So you might be up to your knees, still in emotion. You may not be drowning in past emotions, but they're still there. And so they're still affecting how you relate with others, especially in love. So if you are um, trying to move forward or you think you are, be aware maybe you're not. I call it that. <laughs> be aware that you're, you're not. You might be losing valuable time um, and pushing the wrong idea. Or your other person might be getting the wrong idea that, Maybe you don't really want to transmit that data. Okay, let's see what, what your vibe is at this time for Taurus. Just a picture of the rest of November. What's the vibe? Okay, so what I heard is I ain't taking no bullshit. And I know the cards don't reflect that. I'm going with what the data is coming through, what's getting transmitted. Not taking no bullshit. You might be realizing, accepting, or uh, letting others know that you are not an option. You are someone with, uh, or you think of yourself as someone very important, and you are not to be played with. Whoa, Five of Cups comes back. You might be responding the opposite of Capricorn at this time. Forgive the camera shaking. I see that I'm going to stabilize that for the next video. Um, so, uh, Taurus is my Taurians. Um, you're letting motherfuckers know you're not to be fucked with. You can be pulling back your energy or outright vibrating that energy out that you are not to be played with, misunderstood. Somebody may be treating you like an option or they think they can do that, but you are shedding light on an important matter <laughs> about how you maintain your joyful orbit. Ooh. You also may have somebody from the past. Okay, or this could be somebody from the past who thinks that, you know, they could just roll through and, you know, boom, chicka, wow, wow. And no. <laughs> No, no. The answer is no. That's a, that is a negative. That's, mm hmm. Don't think so. Maybe, uh, no, not let, no, not next lifetime either. Somebody wants to come in and play with your time, play with your energy. They may think that sending you certain kinds of messages is going to get your attention. I feel like at this time, um, there's a strong energy of, no, and turn off and would kill and ugh, bitch. <laughs> I just also heard it wasn't even that good. Okay, what else? Oh, I don't think we need clarity on that. Let's okay, just Lord. Um, so there is this energy of somebody thinking they can circle the block 
on the player data with you and you are connected to better things, better ideas, they need to know you were never waiting, no. And you had no question about whether or not you wanted to be involved. You are choosing yourself. What? Oh, yes, you are choosing yourself. What makes you happy? What works for you? And that means walls up. <laughs> that means walls up. The test is here. This came out in reverse. Now, listen. You are dealing with the energy of people who don't know when to stop. Mm -hmm. And no, it's not with everybody. It's really just the magnetics of you. Uh, you've pulled back your energy or you're not available. This could be dating. You're not as available or you don't you're not putting that energy out. I see a Facebook page. So your social media may look different or be light. Uh, you might look a little bit absent, hey, something of that sort. It's just curious. Motherfuckers want to know if they can come around or inside, outside, around. Just listen. <laughs> I'm moving on. You got this handle. Virgo, let's see what your energy, what's the vibe? Hold on. Okay, so what I got was don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Yarbrough and Peoples, I hear the song now. That is the name of the band, Yarbrough and Peoples. Don't waste your time. She's my friend, and I tell you, she ain't no good. Oh, it's a song. Now, however, I hear the end of the song. I can't stand to see someone take advantage of you. Uh, Virgo, I don't know if you're giving it or you're getting it, but somebody is dispensing uh, self-serving love advice. Watch out. Mm. Let's just get a few pictures on that, shall we? Ooh. We'll clarify for Virgo. Yeah. Okay. These two chickadees came out in reverse and back to back. I'm going to write them up. So be aware of people giving you advice about somebody uh, because they know them personally. This is love advice. They may be acting like they know them, know their nature, know how they're going to be. It's blanket data based on somebody's clouded ass fucking ego. Somebody wants to, you know, share a little bit of their ending salad with you. Delicious salad, chock full of nuts. Uh, it's 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 about endings, and it, be very mindful of people telling you what to do with your fucking love life, uh, or things that make you personally happy. I'm not talking about work. This feels like people trying to give you living advice that fucking sucks, and it's based on their fucking suck ass life. Have an ass. Be mindful. It feels like though. It's an opportunity to listen differently. And what you'll be listening to, because of the way those cards came out to me. Oh, because of those cards. 
because of the way those cards came out to me, it's kind of giving me the suggestion of somebody talking who hasn't really done a lot of reflecting in life. And you can look at their life and just say, okay, see what you got going on. And, oh, I hear you different. Like it's taking love advice from someone who is like 20 minutes past bitter, um, taking life advice or someone uh, who has no idea what fun is telling you how to have fun, how to live your life. This includes tarot readers, myself too, damn it, shit. If the advice don't make you feel good, doesn't give you a, like, a way to move forward, it's probably not good advice. It's probably hurt data. <laughs> hurt people hurt people. They don't always mean to do that. But sometimes if that's just what's in their orbit, how can they share clarity? How can they share clear orbit data with you if their orbit is like completely overloaded with satellites, broken parts, space junk, asteroids, comets that don't know where they're going? Just, uh, you, know, you get what I'm saying. So based on the pictures people will be painting for you, I feel like this might be for somebody. Okay, Virgo, for one of you, this might be a family member telling you what's valuable and what's not. Um, telling you what's what you should be putting your values into. But and, and it's sage wisdom, yeah, but it's sage wisdom for that person. And they didn't follow it, so they're trying to help you, yeah give you some advice as an outside person who can see up close in your life. Uh, but take the data with limited action. Consider it and then consider the source. Because that was in reverse. And let me just put it that way. That's somebody who didn't reach for their dreams didn't reach for what was like enjoyable belly laughter type of enjoyment in life. Life is short. You could follow their suggestions to walk straight and narrow. And then, you know, 10 days later, you get hit by an ice cream truck full of clowns. And then what? Did you enjoy life? Maybe you wanted to climb Mount Everest. So strength is on you at this time, is what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, and that includes strength within the eardrums and the brain. Uh, though it, it, There's going to be some people telling you not to do something that you really, that's in your heart. And recognize ancient data, Lord. All right. Let's go to the general stuff for you guys. Goodness. Let's see what's going on in the money. Mm -hmm. mm. What's the money looking like? For Earth signs, the rest of the month. Wow, all gold. You might be getting a, you might be getting into position or dealing with debt. Paying off things. This could be an extra work extra things you do at work, extra time spent at work that puts more moolah in your pocket. Okay, and if you are doing extra work, don't skip out on health and yourself. I know it's supposed to be about money, but I feel like this is more in a physical sense. Don't 
make sure if you're overworking yourself, uh, be mindful. You could be doing too much. Travel alert. You may have thought about quitting or trying a new job, a new workplace. Okay. If you think, okay, oh, this is weird data. Okay, Earth signs, if you're thinking about moving to a new job or something like that, or you're thinking about quitting, be mindful of not vibrating that data, especially around the workplace. Yeah, don't let your emotions get the best of you in the workplace where you're talking about the job at the job. Like, go home and do that. Um, go home and do that with a loved one or your pet. Because it feels like, at least for the rest of November, you may have an elemental ability to bring in what you're talking about. So be mindful of let be mindful of letting your emotions get the best of you. Because it can't be somebody like it could be just like bitching on the job, not knowing that the boss is around the corner or someone connected to a higher up is around the corner in the cubicle and you didn't know they was right there. And you say some shit like, man, I'll walk off this job if they blah 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 blah. <laughs> and they hear you and they're like, well, let me help you. The universe is going to respond with some confusion, like, oh, we thought you really wanted out. So be mindful of expressing what you want um, in a conversation, what you want, what you would do. You may just actually truly manifest it beyond your control because somebody heard it. Somebody overheard it or went back to talk about it. Whatever it is, it's, it's direct to the source or the source, human resource. I don't know, fill in the blanks. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with you in love. So I see the card, Harmful Matters. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Are you happy and it's harmful to somebody else? What? Okay, let's see. What's going on with earth signs in love? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's I hear that song. Oh gosh. Oh. Clap along if you know what happiness is to you. Clap along if you feel like that's what you want to do. Ooh. Damn. Somebody is struggling with not being able to connect with you. Um, that's the rest of November. Somebody's struggling. Ooh, I want your love. I hear. I don't know who sings that song. It sounds like 80s, early 90s. Oh, why do I hear Bananarama? I don't think that's the group, though, but I see the word, so I'm sharing it. You're driving somebody crazy, earth signs. Somebody wants to connect with you, and they can't. You seem to be happy about that? Or is it happiness, or is it happy to not give a fuck? <laughs> Somebody's trying to get at you. They really want their their They're emotional. Why? Why? Oops, pal, surprise. I don't know what that has to do with anything. 
Okay, so you might be like a bit of a, you might be boombastic. Tell you fantastic. Oh, Shaggy, Mr. Lover Lover. Okay. Okay, Earth sign. <laughs> One of y'all got that good good further down below, right? It's boombastic. It's a battle in the bedroom, right? It's, yeah. So somebody's like stuck on that thought. It's, it's yeah. And there's no value. No. Oh, God. It's turning into karma. How's that? It's karma because somebody played games with your whole motherfucking time in the past. They didn't do what the fuck they were supposed to do. Or once they felt like they uh, got with you or had your attention, they didn't know what to do with it. However, this is somebody you did. Boom, chicka, wow, wow. Yes, there was. That's how they know it's boombastic. They have options. They have options, but they're just is like they don't replicate you. So, uh, <laughs> darn, they don't replicate like they don't replicate you. Like there's one you and it's you're everything. You're so much more than you see all these other exes. They just don't work. There's even like a group of them together. So even, you know, if there was, it, you know. Even if it was orgy data, it still is not you. Oh, gosh. Oh. Someone's going crazy because they, they realize that somebody's, that they're trash. <laughs> oh, that's bad. It's one bad and it's too bad. So... Somebody misses you, but they miss, you know, the boom chicka wow wow. Because they can't find anything comparable to, oh, to you. I get would kill energy. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody doesn't like you. Nobody. Oh, boy, it's been a battle. Mm -hmm. A lot of time spent attempting to find someone that replicates you or carries your energy and it's not possible. Oh boy, that happens. Oh well. Hmm, darn. Let's pull and see what's coming next for those of you who are single, those of you who are involved. I ain't reading for you. <laughs> Let's uh, see the singles, the single earth energy, and including those of you who function like you're single. Naughty cookies you are. What's coming next for you in love? Somebody getting some dick, dick, dick. Anyways, um, be mindful of a new connection that's got connections already. One, the connections are at a distance, so they will be hidden. You can count on that. Um, but there are, they're connected. It, it is what it is. What do you need to know most importantly about, oh, okay. This might be somebody you have to reject because of that. This might be somebody coming at you who's, yeah, cheating. You might have to reject this. So if you got somebody new coming in or you're dealing with somebody new, definitely get all the data in case you're not that kind of earth sign. 
What are the connections? Clarify the three connections. There's something about three kings. Well, they have financial debt, one. A lot of, they might have a lot of it. So if they work a lot or um, they're busy a lot, it's because they're trying to catch up. And they may have debt that's, that's not like, this might be debt, okay, it is debt that's beyond like light bills and stuff like that. They've gone through something very financially. Okay, the only word that comes through is crippling. That's a tough word. But they are trying to get life back in order in some kind of way. Yeah, yeah. They're fighting for it. Now, what do they want with you? Oh, <laughs> I was like, well, who cares about this data? <sighs> Be aware of a sign. You may have somebody coming at you because of money reasons. Um, they want to connect with you because of some type of financial value they get out of this or loan. They may be coming, trying to get at you, trying to get you to uh, financially contribute to their bottom line. And uh, I get the energy too that they're not only asking you. They may be seeing who's going to help, who cares enough to help. Oh, this is, be mindful. Yeah. Be mindful of somebody coming in playing whole last games. I don't like this. This could be somebody who's a player, like they get people to take care of them. Um, sugar baby, gigolo energy. And what's most valuable about you or what maybe seems like that is the fact that you appear to be on your own. Maybe maybe you had family or had it and now they're not there anymore, but you appear to be alone and open. Loner energy that makes them feel like maybe they can take advantage. Somebody may feel like if they do the right things, say the right things, that you might walk towards them. You might um, be compliant in satisfying their happiness. What do you, the fuck do you get in return if you You get the idea that there's some type of connection. It's lazy, but you get the idea. Somebody can sell a dream. They can hold it up, they can act well in it. They know they, okay, whoever this is has mastered the art of stalling shit out. Be mindful of people coming in who who check all the right boxes, but I hear Eddie Murphy, my girl likes to party all the time. Uh, they check all the right boxes, but there's something else about them that you'll see that's extreme. Can be in the friends, like they might act one way, but their friends, 
they might act like a librarian with you, but their friends go to the local McDonald's and strip down and dance on top of the tables and drink alcohol. It feels like a connection that you will, it's, it's not, a, it's, ooh. I don't think it's one you're supposed to walk through. I think you're supposed to recognize it right off the top and dismiss it. So this does feel like a period of uh, anyone new coming in, you need to ask the right questions and verify. Unless you just on some boom chicka wow wow, then don't listen to anything else they have to say because scam data. Okay. Let's get to your, um, okay. I feel like you need, wait, one more. There's a warning. Could be for you, Taurus. Yucky ducky. Okay, so you are not stupid. This could be for you, Taurus. You're not a dumb dumb. Don't be dumb dumb. Uh, the rest of November, I want you to just be mindful of people. It feels like interaction with somebody who is mentally the fuck off. Um, they're gonna come across that way, but they're doing it on purpose. Scam data. Um, it is somebody trying to get you to hop onto onto the cuckoo timeline with their ass. You might get this sensation of crazy right off the top with them. It's somebody struggling within themselves, but they're lying. They're lying. Why are they lying? Oh. That's what they always fucking do. What is this? A <laughs> mental patient in a hospital? Shit. Yeah, well, okay. Maybe you are surrounded by criminal element. What is the risk? Clarify the event. give a damn. Let's just spread this to all earth signs and then anybody else who's fucking listening. Um, be mindful of dealing with nut jobs the rest of the month. It's like communicating with somebody and forgetting that you can't talk to everybody. How, what's your energy? Clarify forgetfulness. What's your energy? You may turn down someone's offer for time because we get sexual hysteria. I don't want to use the R word, but it did come through. Can be somebody threatening to touch you in a way, end you in a way, purge and an urge and sensual insanity. And it's dealing with somebody who is, who goes crazy for a moment. And they're, they're acting crazy on purpose.
Okay, the message is coming through now. I hear people yelling. I hear someone yelling, and what I thought I heard was, why are they allowed to be here? Can be the outcome of a situation that somebody might have said something about before. Clarify the event. This event is around the home. To my ladies, if if it's legal to have have it in your possession, I'm gonna need you to carry a little something protective on you. I'm not gonna tell you what. You have to figure out what's safe around you, but it needs to be quick and protective. That's something you gotta go get, unlock. Just something protective. Getting out of in and out of the car. This event happens around the home. It could be more than one person. So it can be a group of bad actors. Yeah, I don't like this. It's hostage mind trap. Um, so if you are going home at night and you see people you don't normally fucking see and they too close to your door, I'm going to need you to get back in your car, circle the block. Yeah, I don't. Rape and violence. I don't like this. So there are ways to keep yourself safe in this new world. A little pocket knife. I keep seeing a pocket knife. I keep seeing a tiny little switchblade. I'm not telling anyone to go get that. But if that's legal where you are, And the house keeps coming out. So this is multiple people around a home. If that, if pulling up to your house don't look right to you, don't. Like legit. Um, there's ways to deal with escorting, getting somebody to. And when I say escorting, I don't mean boom chicka wow wow. I mean like you can call the police sometimes, and they can come see if everything's okay. Sometimes maybe they could just drive by and scare motherfuckers off. But it's high energy, high emotion. Excuse me. And it's planned. I don't like this data. I just don't. So I'm going to need you to be a little bit careful. More careful than usual. Hmm. Yeah, just be more careful, more mindful. And if it don't look right, don't definitely don't walk in it or walk up to it. It feels like people on the edge, crazy. I'm not thinking clearly, but hmm. be careful. Just be a little extra careful for me the rest of the month. Okay, let's get to your yes or no questions. Nope, I can't. Okay. A little more advice. 
for that reading. Yeah. Be brave. Let go. Move on. Move on. Revenge. Um, there's definitely a next step you need to take. A next path. Somebody's on the next path wanting to move into their new life. But this may be difficult. You may have an ex or somebody who can't let go. Who's stopping you from moving forward. And it may be a little bit vengeful. So make sure you're moving forward. Make sure you're not focused on things that you... Um, don't stay focused on energy that you don't want in your environment. Focus on things that you do want and call that into your orbit because you might be manifesting corrosion. Like if you broke up with somebody and you're still talking about, I don't want a motherfucker like this. I don't want that. I don't want this. Um, you are, believe it or not, you're manifesting more of that. So come out of that past data. Whenever you catch yourself thinking about it even, make yourself clean up or do something or music, anything that completely distracts. Right. So there are some endings that need to be accepted by you because uh, you may also be with some or coming out of something from the past where they can't accept the situation either. So you have choices right now. And at one time, maybe there was some unhappiness, but if you're choosing and you really are choosing heaven, you got to move your feet, your feet and your mouth got to move in that energy. Okay. So release and get back to creating what is really, really good for you. Focusing on it. Hmm. Okay. Now let's get to your yes or no. So focus on your one yes or no question. I will split the deck three ways. Pick uh, this deck and we will see if your answer's there. Question to deck one. The answer is no. Did you put your question to deck two? Oh. One more again. The answer is no. It does feel like blocks, blockages. Is this is blockage, blocks and plans. I hear Earth, Wind, and Fire, that song, Reason. The reasons that we fear our feelings won't disappear. Anyways, did you pick deck three? Dang, what's going on? Earth signs, the answer is no. And with that seven, it can be about evolving, situations evolving. Can be also about travel. Mm can be about trust, uh, options. Hope this reading was helpful. Or hope you just enjoyed listening. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help the channel grow. More growth, more readings. And uh, if you catch me in a live, if you're new here, I do also offer free readings for subscribers only. So that's also a bonus. All right. Anyways, Earth Signs, I appreciate you watching. And remember, the rest of November and going forward, you are well. Thank you for watching.